Well, hello, my friends. Time Architect here, and welcome to another episode from the Zetacraft SMP server. In the last episode, we built Alduin. And he stands here on top of the mountain, strong as ever, as well as Snow Free. Ricky and I, in between episodes, went ahead and covered him in string as well as glow lichen to ensure that he would be free of spawns as well as snow till the very end of time. But, my friends, I hinted at it at the end of this last episode, and I hinted at it at the beginning of this episode with all sorts of massive grind lapses. I have been so busy gathering resources and getting the last few details all finished up. We got a big episode today. So if you're excited for today's episode, be sure to click that light and smash it, break your keyboard, break your phone screen, smash that thing. But I guess, yeah, then you can't really watch my content. Eh, don't do that. Just hit the like button <laughs> and subscribe as well as hit that notification bell. Also, be sure to go and check out all of the other Zetas. They are absolutely amazing people, great content creators, fantastic. Couldn't be more happy to be playing on a world with them. But before we can get started on the massive project that I have been hinting at, I think that it's time to go and interact with a few of the other Zetas, and I don't know, maybe mess with them a little bit. So let's go jump straight over to the shopping district and meet up with Geek there. Time! Geek! Bad time! Uh, Geek? Hey, how are you doing, man? I'm doing a lot better now that I can see your beautiful face. Thank you, thank you. Well, uh, I called you over because I know you like a good roulette, right? I mean, you won't see me at the casino, but uh, I'm down for a game or two. Okay, okay, okay. So I have invented something called Geek Roulette. Oh. And it goes like this. Oh my. And all you, oh, whoa, 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 sorry. sorry I don't like sorry. this game. <laughs> no, I, sorry, that was a mistake. Okay. <laughs> all right. Sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. All you have to do is put one diamond in. I'll scroll, and you can, as you can see, you can win a diamond chest plate, diamonds back, shulker shells, redstone blocks, some raw pork, pork chop, a totem of undying, and some leather or a book. Okay. Or even some rockets. Well, I need to go get a diamond. Because I may have spent my allowance earlier, so give me one moment. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Geek Roulette is prepared. Okay. So, one so all you have to do is, is you say go. You pay the diamond. You say go. I'll... Uh, to the uh, roulette, how do you call it? Roulette Rooney? Spinning? And you say stop. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think it's called spinning. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, go. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I need to put that because I have diamonds in my hand. Okay. From now, you can say go. Go. Keep going. Keep going. Come on, baby. Land on blue. Stop. Ooh, you got the enchantment book. Here you go. Mending. Okay. All right. That's pretty right. good, right? That's not bad. I mean, for one diamond. Yeah. I mean, we can get it for you one. Do it? We can get it for one oh. emerald, but sure. All you right. want to do another round? Let's do another one. Okay. Let me put the uh, diamond out of my hand. So, uh, it's diamonds. Heal. Diamond chest plate. Rockets. Uh, but now I added a picklin head. Oh. All right. Okay. Are you ready? Ready, set, go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right. Do this until I get dizzy. And stop. Shulker shells. Ooh, you got four shulker shells. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, I threw one extra. Four. Well, that's good. That's two shulkers for you if you put some chests in. Oh, awesome. Perfect. All right. I got two more diamonds. Oh, you want to keep going. Okay, okay. I'll uh, do something extra then for you. Let me see. I'd like to make the price a little bit bigger. 
I will support your mobile Chuck E. Cheeses. <laughs> it's a lot of Chuck E. Cheesing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Cheesing with okay. Beef. Like you can win a stack of uh, golden carrots, totems. Okay. But also pork chops. I mean, uh, eh? Mm. Are you ready? I am ready. Just say go. And go. Come on, totem. Come on, totem. Daddy needs a new totem. Daddy needs a totem and stop. Ooh, you got ten redstone blocks. Yay. These are helpless to me. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can, you, can, you can try again. One last and time. And get the totem. You know what? I put an extra totem for you in. So now you have a double chance to get a totem. Ooh. Are you ready? I gotta sleep on it. Let's do it. Wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Sam, Sam beat me to it. <laughs> ready, set, go. Yes. Yes. Stop. <laughs> Yeah! Oh! <laughs> that shocked me. <laughs> Yay! Got it. Are you using it right away? Yay! Oh. You didn't put your bat. You're at spawn, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a bit awkward. Uh, Keep getting me back on my stuff, and uh, has since moved on, but I think... I'm ready for a little bit more fun, but this time I'll be the one in charge of the shenanigans. I think it's time to put on my best voice acting personalities and go mess with Bleaker. Uh, I think he's over at Starter Town, so I'll meet you guys over there. Oh, what do we got here? What is this, some sort of nasty little hole in the ground? Well, I guess the door's open, so I'm just going to go ahead and let myself in. What oh. do we have going on here? What is this? Who are you? Uh, uh, it's, 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 there, there's a sign! There is a, no soliciting. Oh, darling, there's no time for signs. Look at this mess. Look at this ginormous mess you got going on. What do you call this place anyway? What What do you have going on here? This, this, is, this is my home. You I call, live here. You call this a home? Sweetheart. It's, you can't be doing this jail, sweetheart. It's too far, too dark. You need to let some light in. You got all these dark colors on the walls. There's a, a really heavy draft going on through here. There's a hole in the floor. Yes, there is. A, there's. A, a... How did you get here? How did you find me? I live in a mountain, darling. Why do you sound like a seven-year-old chain smoker, da darling? Darling, listen, listen here, darling. Oh, good I... God. I've been giving out a lot of fashion advice over the years, okay? Uh, 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 and you, you're... what are these rags that you're wearing? Honey, you the... need to eat something. You need uh, to put some little meat on your bones. I, I, sir, I think. I am death. Destroyer of worlds. Sweetheart. Death ain't scared of you. Uh, uh, what, 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 what is wrong with how I look? Sweetheart, my third ex-husband looked better than you. What happened to the first two? You don't want to know. Okay. Who let you in? Sweetheart, the, the door's wide open. You should it, know by now that if a door's open, I'm just, I'm just going to come walking in. But I don't even know who you are. Sweetheart. Why are you here? Oh, the door is open. Well, um, I, I'll, I'll put it, I'll put this to you, I'll put this in terms that you can understand. I live here. This is private property. You are trespassing. Now, I would suggest that you leave before uh, matters need to be resolved. Sweetheart, you think I'm scared of that thing? You live in a rat yes. hole. Yes, but that... Oh my god, I am death. I can do this. Are you familiar with the movie uh, 300? Sweetheart, 300. That's how much money my third ex-husband spent on a ring. You think that hurt me, sweetheart? I've taken worse from my second husband. How? If you know what? I'm coming down against this. This is... Whew. 
Ah, oh, silence is bliss. Well, how about that? It does say Bleaker's Crypt, go away, and no corporate solicitation, and no flower gangs. I would like to notice that it doesn't say anything about anti-flowers, so maybe we'll need to swing by later, because we are still very much a part of the No Flower Club. We really do need to get that meeting going. You never know what Ricky's scheming in the background. But my friends, I think I have made you wait long enough. And it's time to go meet up with Ricky in the shopping district and go build something epic. Who's fly? Is that almost? <laughs> it's just like going up and up. It's going to the rocket shop. <laughs> Pro skills. Pro skills. Nailed hey! it. Yay! <laughs> Anyways. Well, I'm Ricky, sorry. I would say the word wall has actually been doing quite well. We've made so many diamonds. So like, many. So many diamonds. With all of our success, I, I do hope that nothing bad happens. I mean, this is a word wall. Yeah. You know, but sometimes a dragon soul just needs to come back to life. And I think... For a marketing standpoint for our shop, obviously. We should help the word wall really kind of stand out in the shopping district so that people can see it from down below. Yeah, we are pretty far up on this hill. And uh, I think something to catch other shoppers' eyes might be in need. Oh, for sure. I think this will be really cool. Shall we? Let's do it.
And there we have it. An Elder Dragon and now sits on top of the Word Wall. I think that this is an excellent addition to the skyline of the shopping district, which I don't want to show you because there are some spoilers because I'm recording this a few days later. I found out that the footage that Ricky and I recorded was corrupted and instead of using his footage, I'm just going to re-record my own. So I'm just going to fly up here right quick. Oh, oh, I'm going to fly. And then we can see that this dragon is also painstakingly, ow, covered in string and glow lichen. So between the two dragons, I think Ricky and I are sitting somewhere around six shulker boxes worth of string to cover both dragons. Yeah, that was, I think it took just as long to cover the thing in string as it did to build it. Oh, there's a block missing right here. Well, how about that? <laughs> so anyways, um, so I want to know what you guys think of this down in the comments. And while you're down there, go ahead and drop a name for what you think that this dragon should be called. If I were to zip on down, whoop, hopefully no spoilers, zip on down here. Somebody was kind enough to drop a name on it. And they said, Charizard. I choose you, which I think is hilarious. So I want to know what you guys think for names. Preferably not Charizard. That one was already spoken for. But uh, yeah, let me know in mine or Ricky's video what you think of it. So, spin right back around. We are getting there on the episode. And before I sign off for today's episode, I was flying around the shopping district earlier. And Average was working on building his shop. And we kind of got a talking, and he said that he needed some pink concrete and some pink terracotta. Well, I ran back to my base, and I made some. And now I'm going to go ahead and roll the clip of our little transaction. I'm back! Uh, Hello! You seem to have been oh, shot. shot. Well, that's... I did not think about lighting this up yet. Oh and... my goodness! That was a mistake. I literally just finished the roof, too. Wait, where did I just... I just lost my sword. Oh, there You've it is. You lost your sword? We're oh, glitching. It's like, how did that happen? There you are. Well, that's... Wow, you, uh... You look like a pincushion. I... I may have taken a few arrows, but the one good thing, none of them hit me in the knee. It looks like you got yourself some knee protection suits on. I do, and it, it looks like you, you may need some of those uh, knee protection suits. Ah, uh, it's too late. It's in there deep. Yeah, it's... yeah. I think, I think that's just permanent now. I think so. So, word on the street is, is that you need pink concrete pink concrete powder and or pink terracotta I do well I just so happen to have oh exactly what you're looking all for. of them we'll some assembly have, uh, inventory space there will be some <laughs> assembly required on the pink concrete I think that's completely fine so what's uh what's something like that worth for you I think that's worth uh Oh man, that was a lot. That's worth a good amount of diamonds here. Quick access to my uh, my diamonds down here. That is smart. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, five? Is that is that good? I'm willing to take that. And tip. Oh, for bringing the pigs. Oh yes. <laughs> That's right. I didn't tell my uh, yeah. my audience that I, I brought him over some models for his pig shop they've got going on here. Very lovely models all down here. They've well, they've done wonders for getting the shape right. <laughs> well, that sounded a lot like a transaction for me. So oh. there's that, and then also I do love transactions with Wimmer for that. And there you are. I have kept myself fully stocked on golden carrots throughout the season now, and I've only been given them so far. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way we like to keep it at Dwemer Industries. Uh, 
And now, you know, if Dwimmer if Dwimmer needs a, a log supplier. Hey, time. Oh my God. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, time. Do you have Ricky's head, buddy chance? No, I don't. Okay. Anyway, goodbye. Oh boy, I am not used to this voice mod yet. <laughs> <laughs> that shocked me. And uh, if you need any more pink concrete powder, I happen to have five more stacks. Ooh, I think since I'm only texturizing this, I think this will do me just fine yeah. for this project. But if you need more, you'll know where to get some. Yep. Thank you very much. All right. Well, I'll let you get back to work. I look forward to seeing your giant big. Thank you. <laughs> logs and hogs. Ooh, Come shop I logs like at, it. at the at the big hog. I like that. That's going to be cool. Oh, yeah. What's going on over there? I don't know, but it seems sketchy. They're asking about heads. Drop is always plotting things. Always scheming. Always scheming. All right. Well, enjoy. Bye-bye. Fair enough. Same here, actually. Do you have Ricky's head by any chance? Um, no. No, I don't. Oh, why does nobody have his head? Do we? Are we selling his head by any chance? Here, uh, if you if you need to if you need to get his head, if you need his head, use use this. And, uh, uh, white omen. Because there's multiple ones, it's like supposed to be bad omen sort of thing. Here, here's these two. Uh, uh, you might need those. Uh, <laughs> Go get his head now. Uh, okay. Do you want the other ones? Because I have more than one. No, okay. Um, you can. You missed me. out. You missed out. We had a sky battle on the shop because there were, they were playing King of the Mountain. They kept knocking me off while I was building. So I literally ran around for a whole hour making these just to shoot at them. And I, I did kill Ricky, but I did not get his head. Have fun. <laughs> oh my god, I just handed a dangerous weapon to a child. <laughs> That's very irresponsible of you. Oh my god, you scared me! <laughs> <laughs> I just handed a loaded weapon to Mega. Was that a good idea? Never. <laughs> but I'm interested. Well, I heard he did it, so there's no taking that back. <laughs> <laughs> This should end up interesting. I am very interested. Maybe it'll go a little bit more Oh no, we left the game! <laughs> Maybe this will go better than his assassination attempt on Geek. Hmm. Wait, is that why he wants the head, do you think? I presume it's for his armor stand work over there at uh, Sunflower Square. That's my guess. Ah. Hmm. Well, I'm going to get to work on the shop, because if I don't get that open within the next two days, I'm going to be disappointed in myself. <laughs> yeah, you better be careful with the aerial stuff. I've heard there's dragons about. Oh, dear. Yeah, I better watch out for that. Yeah, it's too late. They're already here. <laughs> See ya, time! See ya! So I know that I said that that was going to be the last little bit of the episode, but I totally forgot that Boss is having an auction for the cars over at his starter base. So in order to keep the timelines right, I want to head over there and speak with him right quick and see what we can do about getting ourselves a bid on one of those. So let's head over there and hopefully he's there so I can talk to him. Hello, Boss. Oh, hi, Time. I see you have some very beautiful cars here. I do. Thank you. They, uh, they're all currently for sale, except for the one on the second floor. Ooh. These are some beauties. You are very well off to have this nice of a collection of vehicles. Yeah, that's why I figured I could, I could share, you know? Some people were asking me if I would sell them a car, and I was like, eh, you know, I might as well. But they have to live here, but the ownership can be by other people. Are we allowed to test drive them, or? Nope. Not, so I have to buy it 
without going for a test drive? Blindly, yes. What kind of car dealership are you? I'm not a car dealership. These are my personal collection, and these cars are expensive. So you're not going to let us test drive them, but you're allowing us to buy them, but we can't have Here, possession of them. Here, close your eyes and pretend like you're in the car. We can do a, a quick test drive. Ready? Yeah. Look, now you owe me for damages. Oh, uh, sure. Here's 16 golden carrots. Oh, good. That was a transaction. Yeah. <laughs> How was your test drive? Uh, I mean, it came to an abrupt end, but uh, up until then, it was quite smooth. Okay, well, I was just wanted to swing by and check these out. I see nobody's put in a bid on this uh, crimson red car, and as you might notice, that's kind of my color. I think it matches my eyes. Yeah, I don't eyes. know why. This is this is my second favorite car. Yeah, I I think it would uh, look really good with myself inside of it. I I think so too. Well, think if you're the only bidder, then it's like an automatic win for you. So, uh, remind me again, what is acceptable bids? Like, obviously, I can't just give you 16 golden carrots and call that a bid. No, 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 no. So, down here in the book, it actually tells you exactly what's acceptable. Okay. So, acceptable items include diamonds, debris, netherite ingots, beacons, and obsidian. Ooh, obsidian. Okay. All right. Yeah, because mining large amounts of obsidian is horrid. So if somebody's willing to do that for me, I put a diamond price for obsidian. Okay. I uh, I will keep that in mind. You know what is not acceptable at all, boss? Hmm. Yeah, I do it every time that I come over here, and then they still just keep happening. Wait. Actually, not only do I break them down now, I just turn them all into yellow dye. And then throw the yellow dye down. That way they can't be put back. Oh, I give the yellow dye to Ricky directly. Yeah, I mean, I'll do that if he's near me, but since he's not right now, you know. You would think that with, you know, this anti-sunflower propaganda that they would get the hint. Yeah, no, they don't care. They really don't. Same with the peonies. Uh, somebody was nice enough to uh, rose out my airport. Because See, there was a bunch of peonies around it. I don't mind the roses as much because I kind of think of them as tomato plants. <laughs> so yeah, I, mean, I guess I, I could see it. They look more like tomato plants than roses to me. Like when I think of roses, I think I'd need to walk in them and start getting damage because all the thorns. Now these tomatoes, well, like however, on Zame's armor, I feel like I could, I could lick them. <laughs> Pretty, pretty it looks tasty. So awkward. <laughs> <laughs> what, you practice it a lot. You walk up and lick the roses. <laughs> you gotta sometimes just enjoy the smaller things in life. <laughs> but with that, I well, will I go went, ahead uh, and leave you with that. Okay. I was and, gonna uh, tell you. I just went and got. Oops. Sorry about ow. that. Well, I think I just gave you another sixteen carrots. You did, and I gave you one piece of grass for it. I, I put the grass back. Alrighty, well, I will, uh, I might have to go start collecting up some stuff to put in a bit on uh, that red car there. Sweet. Have fun with your 10 gravel. <laughs> Thanks, boss. See ya. So I do think I have an idea in mind for what I want to do to place as a bid for this beautiful crimson car behind me. But for that, you're going to have to wait till the next episode. Thank you very much, my friends, for watching. And I know this episode is getting a little long, but it's very important for me to go ahead and share this brief and short story about when I was out and about with my wife and I got in conversation with a lady because I had my Minecraft uh, water jug with me and I ended up handing her my business card with my channel info on there. And she looked right at it, looked me dead in the eyes, and said, I'm already a subscriber. I love your content. 
So, uh, thank you very much for being a supporter, and I did get your name, however, I forgot to ask if I can give you, like, a proper shout-out on here, so, since I didn't ask, I'm not gonna say your name, but I know your name, and thank you very much for being a fan, and I am so happy to hear that I inspire you. Thank you very much, my friends, for watching today's episode. I do hope that you guys have a good one, everyone.